What's happening guys? Tonight I'm going to do a quick little video on a program I found earlier tonight called uh, Tumon SE. Uh, I found another person that did a video on it, so I'm basically just doing kind of a repeat of their content, but I found a way to use it that allows you to play games uh, from your PC on an Android tablet using that Android tablet as a monitor. If you haven't already done so, please click the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. Thanks. So, using this application, Tumon SE, you download the PC program version. Uh, I don't know anything about using for uh, Apple devices. I've only tried this in a Windows slash Android environment, but apparently it does work with Apple devices. Your mileage may vary on how that works for you. But you download the PC program version and install that. And then you have to buy the application uh, from an the Android market for whatever Android device you're going to use. And it was $8 US. So it's not free. Um, I don't know if there's a way to another way to get it that you want to fool around with. But I paid for it. I figured $8 it was worth screwing around with. Could be kind of fun for that sort of money. So, like I say, install the PC program. Pay for the application on the Google Play Store. And you get a copy on each one. All right, so you can see that we've got the uh, Tumon SE portable USB monitor program installed on the tablet already. All right, the uh, last step you have to use before you enable it is uh, enabling USB debugging and developer options. So you have to go into your settings, which is the little gear symbol, and you go to, uh, I believe it was About Tablet, and software information and you'll find build number now you tap build number seven times which i don't know why that's the magic number but you do that seven times and it will unlock your developer options you go back to the previous page and one more back you find your developer options and you scroll down and find usb debugging and you enable that so mine's already on up on but you would turn it on if it wasn't already and that will allow it to be used as a display you run the program and it should auto detect that it's already been connected to a pc running the tumon program installed on like i say on the desktop so i got that running so i was going to try to use nvidia shadow play to just do screen capture from this panel and it crashes when you try to do that there's some hit or miss with this like for example uh if i try to turn on the nvidia control panel by opening that up it'll just it'll tell well all right i hit the wrong thing sorry it's hard to see what i'm doing here with uh by looking at the camera one sec so you go to nvidia control panel it's going to tell you it's not connected to uh, an NVIDIA GPU, even though it is in my case. Uh, I haven't tried connecting this directly to like the USB-C port on the back of my PC, uh, but I would suspect that that's not going to interface with the GPU at all. It wouldn't be able to leverage uh, you know, this display and use any 3D acceleration. So I've tried some games on it. It's worked with some and not with others. I thought maybe it's because some of the games were HD hdr enabled uh it may be a DirectX version that causes some to work and some not to work it's a little hard to say i don't really know uh but like i said i was able to use play some games on it successfully i tried uh senua hellblade uh or hellblade senua story rather and that did not work uh but i was able to play doom eternal on it and it ran just fine uh there's a little input lag with that game that i'm noticing versus some of the other ones that I played that worked better. So it's a little bit hit or miss, but let me load up a game here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so you can see this is loading up pretty good. And you're not gonna be able to hear any audio because I just got it coming through headphones. But uh, yeah, like you can see, uh, Doom is loading up just fine. It'll utilize 3D acceleration just fine from uh, you know, from the 2080 Ti, I tried uh, another game that I've got called like Adam's Memories or something. I forget the exact name of it, but it's uh, it's kind of like an indie title. But uh, it would load and run, but it was pretty clear that it wasn't leveraging the GPU because it was running at like two frames a second. It was awful. Uh, but you can see this clearly is working fine. Give me uh, 
One second here, I'll load up the game just so you can see how well it runs. All right, you can see it's running pretty nice. Now you're not gonna really be able to tell by watching, but actually I don't seem to be getting so much of the input lag this time. Last time it was a little bit worse. It's gonna be hard for me to play it on this. I got stuff in kind of my way here, but you can kind of see the idea. Oops. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Okay, so you get the general idea of it, is that it uh, runs games pretty good. At least the games that will work on it. For some reason, of course, like I say, some games didn't work, where it's like they didn't detect it. It was detected or, um, connected to the, the 2080 Ti, and it's reading it more like it's just a, like an external display connected to nothing particularly powerful. Like it's just running it just strictly from software as opposed to you know uh, hardware accelerated so it was running pretty badly uh like i said just a couple games i tried one didn't load at all uh, that was hellblade uh the other one was like i said it was called like adam's memories and then but doom was working so it's kind of hit or miss to use it as a gaming device you know your call if you think it's worth doing or not the other nice thing though is you can utilize the touch functionality of the tablet while connected as also a monitor. So you have some advantages here, like just, yeah, well, it's not being real cooperative, but come on. There you go. All right, you get the idea. So you've got a touch display. You've got the ability to play some games on it. If you have uh, a GPU with a USB-C port and you get to utilize the nice, you know, this is like a nice AMOLED display. So if you were trying to do the whole portable concept like I did in my last video with the ITX bug out box you have the option of bringing like your Android tablet with you and then just utilizing it as a monitor which is pretty cool and it keeps itself uh, it keeps itself charged on the port so one other application you might need is this one right here called no screen off I don't know uh, how every other phone works necessarily but this particular tablet you can only run for 10 minutes and then the screen will shut itself off because it's trying to save thinks it's trying to save power even when it's plugged in and so um, you need that you if you enable that application which it's free that one doesn't cost anything um, it'll just the screen will just stay on indefinitely so that's something you want to download as well. Depends on your device. You might be able to set it to run indefinitely. Or if you've rooted your device, maybe you can set it that way. But this particular tablet will shut the screen off in 10 minutes if I don't use that application. So just something to keep in mind. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you do, please leave a thumbs up on the video. Uh, just consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to see more content like this, uh, leave a comment below. And just tell me what you thought about it. But appreciate you guys watching. And we'll talk to you guys again real soon. Later. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.